Well, the last time I was here at my parents' house, the lawn looked like this. And then we sprayed it with glyphosate. And now it looks like this. So now that the lawn is dead, what's next? Well, let me show you. Here we go. There has been a murder. I do declare. So yes, this lawn is very well crispy. Dead. Done. Gone. And that's exciting because uh, it's been several weeks and two applications of that glyphosate that I used in the last video. If you missed that video, you can catch it up here in the corner and uh, see how we went about killing the lawn. Today um, is the first step in preparing this for new grass seed. And in order to do that, we need to expose as much of the soil as possible. And to do that, I'm gonna take my dad's mower and pretty much just scalp this down and get as much of this material out as possible. And once I've mowed it as low as I can, I've got Ryobi's new One Plus uh, dethatcher. And I'm gonna go ahead and run that across the lawn a few times and just loosen up as much more material as possible and then go back over it again with the mower and just keep kind of repeating the process until I feel like enough soil is exposed in order for us to get seed down. Good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, back for day two at bringing this down to pretty much nothing. It doesn't look like it from this angle here, but when you're walking on top of the lawn and when you're looking at it a little closer, you can see that a lot of the soil is exposed and that's the point. And the nice thing about having some of the old grass left behind even though it's dead, it's still gonna hold the seed in if we ever get an unexpected downpour of rain or if the sprinklers run a little bit too long for some reason, uh, that will help us. So that's the good, good thing here. I'm really happy with where it is. We literally took that lawnmower down as far as it could possibly go. So all I can say is just be patient with yourself when you're doing this, take your time expect to get dirty is very dusty. I have to say that the Ryobi dethatcher did a fantastic job and I'll tell you not having to deal with towing a cord around has been just so nice. I'm gonna have a full review on this here very soon and I can't wait to talk more about that with you. Uh, look forward to that if you're not already subscribed consider subscribing. So we are ready to get seed down. 
Now dad is gonna do one last project here before I can do seed. And I, I bet I could do it beforehand, but it's gonna take him a day to do this and I can wait. Um, he's gonna take this sprinkler head here and move it back to the corner. And he's gonna tee off of the supply line and put a reducer in here and put some drip systems in this bed because this bed has no water source. So he's gonna do that. And then once he's done, I'm gonna come back over here and we'll get some seed down and start growing some new grass. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this one. Thank you so much for watching. And next time we'll be throwing seed. Can't wait. I'll see you next time. Yeah, don't spill it on the grass.